tonight on Saka Plata's World Coin Auction. A 2021 Poseidon Silver Coin will be given away to one of you. Let there be light. Boom! And light there is. Gigi, we have light. What day is it? Freaky, freaky Friday. It's Friday night, and we are feeling right because we are live from New York, New York. Who is in the building? Let's lower the volume on the phone as we follow along. I do not want to hear my voice echo all night long. Let's see here. We have Brad is in the building. Good to see you, Brad. Maria Maria's in the house. TJ is in the building. And TJ, keep me posted. I know your birthday is creeping up very uh, closely here. So TJ, let me know when your birthday is because I need to warm up the vocal cords. What's going on? Rafe is in the building. Red light is here. Alistair Black says we have light and we have almost 400,000 red dyed baby chicks. How did they get in here? It's a freaky Friday night. There are no rules. Joe V says, yo, good to see you, Joe. John Scott is here on Freaky Friday night. And Kylie and Kaylee is in the building, a.k.a. b and K. Sean 47 is here. Thomas Leha is in the building. How are you guys feeling tonight? It is Friday night, and we are getting some uh, underwhelming weather here. But either way, good. I am glad to be here and indoors away from all of the rain. And let's make sure we can get this camera to stay steady. I think the camera might have had a little bit too much ginger ale to start things off. Breeze is in the building. Good to see you, Breeze. Breeze, I actually need some ad advice from you if you can. Uh, I did have a couple of doctor's appointments this week. And uh, I am dealing with abdominal tears, uh, which is very painful. And if you have any advice for me, Breeze, let me know what I can do because I've been trying it all. And I definitely don't want to take medication. Uh, so if there's any other remedies that you recommend, shoot me an email or feel free to tell me in chat. I would really appreciate it. Good to see you, Breeze. Hope you're enjoying your Friday. Jason Gomez is in the building. Good to see you, Jason. Woody Silver Adventure says, take me on a trip around the world. Well, you are in the right place, Woody, because we will be going from the U.S. to Ecuador, to Canada, to Panama, to South Africa, to Norway. We are going to the Congo. So make sure you have the proper equipment because after that, we're going to Australia, then Latvia, and we will finish off in the United States. So I hope you have your uh, frequent frequent flyer miles ready to go. Your passport is active and up to date because we will take a trip around the world and take a look at some very nice silver tonight, guys. And right here in front of you, we have some dessert items. So buckle your seatbelts because it will be a wild ride here on Freaky Friday night. And let's see here. Rockzilla's in the building. Good to see you, Rock. Rock is here on Freaky Friday night. Catherine Lee is here. Good to see you, Kathy. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. Dove says, what the heck, Soccer Plot? I hope you feel better soon. I appreciate that, Dove. Uh, you know, I'm not too restricted, but I am just dealing with some pain tolerance. So uh, it's definitely going to be a lengthy recovery. But uh, we've been there, done that, so we'll get through it. But thank you for the well wishes. Uh, no, TJ, not from shoveling snow. But you know what? It could have stemmed from that. Uh, you know, when I did injure myself shoveling snow, I re-injured myself uh, shortly after. And, uh, you know, sometimes things don't heal the way they should, and it could cause other issues. So we'll get through it. Uh, thank you, Breeze. I appreciate that. Let's see here. Who else is in the building? Silver Streak is here. Carlos is in the building. Are you guys ready? Because I am fired up and wired up. I have my ginger ale here. Uh, I just have to be less reactive with my movements. You know, I get just excited. At, uh, in fact, I get even more excited 
than you guys on stream. And sometimes I make these knee jerk reactions and, and uh, turn left, turn right, boom, you never know what's going to happen. So I'll have to be a little more passive today, but we are ready to rock. Guys, tonight, the Sakaplatha jackpot is a 2021 Poseidon silver coin. You're looking at one of the hottest coins of 2021. And uh, we did give some deals for those coins, I believe, last week towards the end of the stream. Uh, but we'll be giving away one of these tonight. It will not be on the auction list, however, but there will be plenty of options to feast your eyes on, guys. So if you haven't checked out the auction menu, I did pin it to the chat and feel free to check that out. Uh, also, the comment picker video. Hold on one second. We have a $5 super chat. Boom! Pammy Jones on Freaky Friday night. Pammy is here. And thank you so much, Pammy, for the super chat. We really appreciate the support. Thank you guys all for being here on Freaky Friday night. Make sure to smash that like button with authority. And guys, you know what? I believe it was Wednesday. I witnessed something for the first time in eight years. I could say that I saw something. Anyone want to guess what that was? What did I witness on Wednesday night for the first time in eight years? <laughs> TJ says he saw a UFO. That would be awesome, TJ. And if I saw it, I would have pulled the camera up. I, you guys would have been the first one to see it. Thomas says super moon. Perry says the eclipse. Dove season says you saw your toes. <laughs> Good guess there. Silver Streak says the red moon. We actually tried to wake up at four in the morning to catch the moon. But before we did that, we wanted to make sure we can even have a vantage point. Unfortunately, from where we were, we were not able to find that. And we weren't able to see it, unfortunately. But uh, what we did see was for the first time in eight years, the New York Knicks won an NBA playoff game. Boom! So shout out to the New Yorkers. We are just soaking it all up here because it is a rare occurrence. Shout out to the Knicks who are playing tonight. We'll be following along. Uh, let's see here. Anyone else join us? George Kimmel. I know I saw someone sneak in. Good to see you, George. Hope all is well. Sparkle Flair is in the house. Good to see you, Sparkle. I am glad to see you all. It feels a lot longer than a week since I've been on stream. It was a it was a very uh, busy, busy week. I hope you guys uh, are feeling good. I hope you guys are healthy and safe and everything is good in your personal lives. We are going to get things going here. But before you do, Rafe has just posted the giveaway comment video link for tonight. That will take you over to last week's Freaky Friday World Coin Auction where we gave away a gold Geiger. That's right. It was a gold Geiger gaw. Gold Geiger gaw. A Freaky Friday with a gold Geiger gaw. And shout out to Viera Coins for the first time winning a Sakaplata jackpot giveaway. Well deserved. He never wins anything on my channel. And, uh, that was Coin Karma coming right back to him. So shout out to Vieira. Let's take a look here. All right, guys, I am following along on chat. Make sure you guys are switched over to live chat as I just did as I was saying it. I was on top chat, but now we're ready to go. Let's see. Uh, Big Apple is in the building. Woody says, Knicks. Big Apple, how you feel about the Knicks? Hopefully we can pull off another win. All right, guys. So once again, for those that are new, shipping is $4 for five ounces or less, $8 for over five ounces. But if you do have a wallet account, which many of you do, shipping is free for the duration of your active wallet. So you have active wallet, you will never pay shipping as long as it's active. You are free to request to have your item shipped at any time, uh, just being considerate to the fact that we would like to accumulate more items. 
before you request a ship. Uh, the purpose of the wallet is for both of us to save on shipping. So that's all I ask. But you can always email me at sockaplatha.ny at gmail.com for any questions whatsoever. And I'll be happy to help you guys. Great Scott Jarvie is in the building. Daniel D'Ambrosio is here. And Dennis Stewart has joined us on Freaky Friday Night. And guess what he says? He says, let's add a copper round to the jackpot. Boom! Dennis Stewart has just upgraded us like Beyonce. And we are going to pull a copper round. And that will be jackpot prize number two. So, Dennis, thank you so much, brother. Let's grab the copper round. We have the Poseidon as jackpot prize number one. And we have a one-ounce copper courtesy of Dennis Stewart. As jackpot prize number two. All right, here we go. All right, Dennis. Oh, and Dennis, I, I have to send you an email. So I'll, I'll probably end up sending you an email sometime over the weekend, most likely tomorrow, if you don't mind. But here is the one ounce copper trade dollar design by the way shout out to thomas leha who i believe obtained his first trade dollar in his personal collection and those are not easy to find especially at a decent price the premiums i mean the morgan dollars and the peace dollars have grown in premium but the trade dollars as you can imagine those are almost impossible to find uh especially high grade so Shout out to Thomas Leha. All right, let's take a look here. We're going to pull up the random comment picker to select three names to be entered into tonight's jackpot. As we always do, jackpot entries 1 through 25 represent lot number 1 through 25 on tonight's auction list, and they have been pre-entered into the jackpot barrel. So here we go. We're going to pull up the random comment picker and we're going to select three separate names to be entered. There are four ways to enter tonight's giveaway. For every auction item you win, you will receive one entry into the jackpot. Every uh, in chat game you win, you receive one entry. And for every bin, you receive one entry as well. Now, the random comment picker selects names to be entered, but it is one and done. So if you win, the random comment picker, you do get entered into the giveaway. However, it is only one random comment picker entry that you can receive. Random comment picker sometimes has its favorites. So uh, I think that's a fair way to resolve those issues. But we're going to pull up the random comment picker here and let's select some names. We have 35 unique comments. And thank you guys so much for taking part. Here we go. Texas Joe, Texas Joe will receive one entry into tonight's jackpot. And Texas, we're going to get you your entry shortly here. And let's pick another name. Jimmy L, Big Jimmy is in the building. And Jimmy will receive one entry into the jackpot. And Breeze. Breeze will also receive one entry as well. So congratulations and good luck. So here we go. Texas Joe, you will receive entry number 172. Now, you cannot receive another random comment picker entry. However, uh, you can rack up entries via bins, via auction wins, or in chat games so 172 for texas joe good luck all right jimmy l you will receive entry number 199 so jimmy 199 is yours what's going on silverfish is in the building good to see you silverfish how was your week to this week it was a long one for me but we got through it and we are here on freaky friday night Maximus is in the building. Good to see you, Maximus. All right, Breeze, you will receive entry number 123. 123 for Breeze. Good luck. 
All right, guys. Without further ado, we have 25 items on tonight's auction, jam-packed full of very, very nice-looking coinage. You can check out the auction menu, which is pinned to the top of the live chat. Guys, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you guys out. But if you're ready, put a one in the chat, and let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. And uh, TJ, I'm still waiting to hear what the birthday check is. TJ's birthday is uh, somewhere around the corner. Also, Gigi's birthday is less than a month away, guys. Gigi's birthday is in June on June 22nd. What's going on? Silver Nitrate is in the house, everybody. You know it's a freaky Friday when Silver Nitrate joins us. Good to see you, brother. Hope all is well. All right, so we're going to get started, guys. Now, we don't have as many bins on the auction menu, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to make some more bins available uh, at the end of the auction list. All right, so here we go, guys. We're going to start off with auction item number one. This is a BU 1945 Denver Jefferson War Nickel. And as we all know, 35% silver. This is not full steps, but it is in very, very nice condition. The starting bid here is $1, and there is only one available for tonight. We have Sean taking it to three. Sean at three, looking for four, four. Do we have four? Dub season at six. TJ taking it to seven now. We have TJ at seven, looking for eight. I love the BU War Nickels. Very nice patina on it as well. We have Red Light at eight. Kylie and Kaylee taking it to 10 now. 10, looking for 11, 11. Do we have 11? Beautiful. Kylie and Kaylee at 10. Going once. Going twice now. Kylie at 10. All in. All out. Last call. And. And sniper alert, duck for cover. Red light coming in at 11 from the clock tower. Look out, Mrs. Plopper. Once again, item number one is no exception to Sniper City. We have red light at 11, looking for 12 now. Oh, after last Friday's auction, my voice was completely shot, as it often is on Friday nights. You know, we get electrified here. And uh, it hasn't quite recovered. <laughs> so bear with me, guys. You may hear me sound like a 12-year-old boy. Please, no judgment. <laughs> we have Kylie coming back at 12 now. Kylie at 12, looking for 13 for the 1945 Jefferson War Nickel minted in Denver. Going one. Going twice now. Highly at 12. All in. All out. Last call. And we are. So to Kylie and Kaylee for $12. Congratulations, Kylie and Kaylee. You are first on the board. You get item number one, which means you will receive entry number one into tonight's jackpot, which happens to have two prizes, including the 2021 one ounce Poseidon silver coin. I cannot get enough of the Poseidon. 
And congratulations, Kylie. We're going to get you down here for 12. I just put B and K because it's easier for me to write it down. All right, Silver Nitrate. Hope to see you a little later. And thanks for popping in, brother. All right, so B and K. And B and K, I have a wallet here. So if you want to restart your wallet, let me know and we will add it to the wallet. It's actually upside down there. There we go. All right, Sparkle Flair says, hey, I received my package yesterday. Thanks. I'm glad to hear that, Sparkle. I hope you enjoy your items. And I'm glad it arrived safely. All right, BNK, we're going to reactivate your wallet. Okay, I reload it. And it is in there. What's going on, SHTF, with the super chat? Boom! Thank you so much, SHTF. I tried to say scrap and hoard and ticker and fun, but sometimes I get a little tongue tied. So it's good to see you, SHTF. Thank you so much for the super chat. We also have a $5 super chat. Boom! From Carlos. Carlos, thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate the super chat and all the support. And Kellen is in the building, everybody. Kellen has eyes on that Balboa, I'm assuming. Good to see you, Kellen. The Humble Barn is in the building on Freaky Friday night, guys. 43 people joining us from all over the country. I think it's a good time to rep that state. So let everyone know where you are from, what state you are repping. We have not just the United States in here. Shout out to Canada as well. It is great to be able to link up with many members of the community all across the country. Uh, it's a beautiful thing that we have here, guys. PA is in the building. AZ is here. Wisconsin, Delaware, Florida, Texas, North Carolina, Canada, Arkansas, Arizona, Illinois, New York. Guam is in the building, everybody. Shout out to Double O Buck in the building from Guam. Alistair represents the state of confusion. <laughs> and uh, Pammy from PA. Missouri's in the house. California is here. Indiana, the power of cheese has joined us tonight. Good to see you, POC. Hope you're doing well. All right. Are we dealing with any lag? Hopefully uh, we can hold up. We are getting some crazy weather today. It has been raining for the past few hours, and we're expecting rain uh, throughout the weekend, unfortunately. So first things first, Memorial Day is right around the corner, guys. So it's important for us to pay our respects to those that have sacrificed their lives to defend our country. Uh, big shout out goes to all the veteran veterans out there and uh, all the veterans that were lost. You will always be in our hearts. And uh, it's important for us to remember the ultimate sacrifices that they've made, guys. So shout out to all the veterans in the building tonight and all over the country. All right, guys, we're going to move on to item number two here. Item number two is a quarter ounce Incus Indian, three nines fine silver round. And the starting bid is $1. That's right, Dennis, the world, the whole entire world. Absolutely. And Dove season kicking it off at one. Mel coming in at five. Good to see you, Mel. Kylie at 10 now. TJ at 11. We have TJ at 11. Looking for 12, 12. Do we have 12 for the quarter ounce silver in Cuse Indian? And let's see here. Woody says, I will be doing my first live stream Memorial Day Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Free rolls and EOS giveaways. So, guys, make sure to check that out. Uh, Woody is actually Lotto. He created a coin channel. So make sure to subscribe to Woody and check him out. And we have Carlos coming in at 15. Sherry Ward is in the building. Good to see you, Sherry Ward. And Pammy Jones taking it to 20 now. Pammy at 20. Looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21 for the quarter ounce silver in Juice Indian? 
Kylie and Kaylee coming back at 21 in the driver's seat. Kylie and Kaylee at 21, looking for 22 for the quarter ounce in Cuse Indian silver round. Here we go. Going once. Going to Wise. Now, Sniper Alert. Carlos from the Clock Tower at 22. Carlos now in the driver's seat. He's trying to take off with the presidential. Well, let me not say anything that's going to be triggering. So, Carlos is trying to win this battle here. <laughs> we have Carlos at 22 looking for 23. Going. Once. Going to Weiss now. Carlos at 22. All in. All out. Last call. And we are sold to Carlos for $22. Congratulations, Carlos. You are on the board. First win of the night comes with lot number two. So you will receive entry number two into tonight's jackpot for a chance to win the one ounce Poseidon silver coin. And we are going to get you down here. Uh, now, Carlos, we do have your wallet up and running. Here are your items. And we will add this to your wallet. Congratulations on the win. Now, we said $22, but we are going to roll the price back. Let's knock off $5 and take it to $17. Buy it now. There are... 12 available at the $17 price point. This also includes an entry for a chance to win tonight's soccer plot, the jackpot. So if you want in, hit me with the bin. We have Breeze with a bin one. We have Mel with a bin one. We have Carlos with a bin one. We have Pammy with a bin one. AJ would have been one. Good to see you, Adam. Adam is in the building, everybody. We have Kathy Lee with a bin one. We have Silver Fish with a bin one. By the way, Silver Fish, I had some uh, steel-headed trout this week. And, you know, salmon is my favorite type of fish. But after having the steelhead, I may just stick with that going forward. Mrs. Splatha cooked it to perfection. It melted in my mouth, and I absolutely enjoyed every single bit of it. Let's see here. I think it was Chilean. Chilean steelhead trout. Anyone else try that? All right, so just to recap, we have Breeze, Mel, Carlos, Pammy, AJ, Kathy, and Silverfish, all with a bin one. That's the quarter ounce Incuse Indian at the $17 price point. And it comes with a jackpot entry as well. So let's get those. Oh, Sherry Ward, I saw on IG what you were able to catch. And oh, my goodness, that is so impressive. Now, me being a New Yorker born and raised, fishing is something that uh, is completely new to me. But it's something I definitely want to introduce to the kids. So we are planning uh, to go fishing, hopefully this summer, uh, unless there's a preferred time to go. You let me know. I'm not sure uh, really what the seasons are or what the preferred time to go fishing is, but definitely want to cross that off the bucket list. And Woody with a bin one. We have Woody with a bin one and TJ with a bin one. Uh, yeah, my father-in-law was big on fishing. He had his own boat in a, in a marina in a Rockaway Beach. And he just loved being out there, uh, you know, the peace and the serenity and then the, uh, you know, the pride that you feel when you when you catch something with your own, 
you know, tools. It's it's really a beautiful thing. All right, let's see here. Let's get Breeze an entry into the jackpot. Breeze, you will receive entry number 161. Mel, you will receive entry number 32. Carlos, you will receive entry number 200 along with entry number two for the win. Pammy Jones will receive entry number 73. Good luck, Pammy. AJ will receive entry number 92. Kathy Lee will receive entry number 80. Silver Fish will receive entry number 182. Woody will receive entry number 170. And TJ will receive entry number 163. Once again, that's for the quarter ounce Incuse Indian. It sold for 22. We rolled it back to 17 for the buy it now. So if anyone else is interested, just let me know. We have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have three more available. But we're going to move on. And let's move on with a game time. Here we go. First game of the night. I'm going to enter question in chat. First person to guess correctly on my screen will receive an entry into tonight's jackpot for the Poseidon. Here we go. A country that begins with the letter A. A country that begins with the letter A. Here we go. Boom! Stop in the name of love. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And it was the first on my screen. Let's take a look. Oh, my goodness. A couple of correct answers, but it is the first on my screen. Here we go. A country that begins with the letter A. And Rafe Ailman, right on target. Argentina is the correct answer. So, Rafe, you will receive one entry into the jackpot. Congratulations, Rafe. Quick on the trigger, just edging out Alistair and Breeze. Jimmy also with the correct answer. All right. So, Rafe, you will receive entry number 186. Oh, and it's Freaky Friday, but it wouldn't be a Freaky Friday without Gigi because Gigi is in the building, everybody. Say hello to the people. Hello. <laughs> She's fired up and wired up. Shout out to Gigi. She got her uh, her math test back. She got her ELA test back. And of course, she nailed it. So shout out to Gigi. Very, very proud to be her dad. And uh, I had no, no doubt that she was going to nail those tests for sure. Clay37 is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, brother. So the... Um, the bins were for the quarter ounce Incuse Indian at $17 a piece. And uh, we rolled it back from 22. There are three remaining if anyone is interested. All right, guys, let's get into item number three tonight. Item number three is a BU 1962 Washington Silver Proof Quarter. 90% silver, of course. And the starting bid is $1. And thank you guys so much, Gigi. You're getting a lot of love here in chat, as you always are. And Sean coming in at 10. Sean coming in strong at 10 with a $10 bump. We have TJ at 13 now. TJ at 13 looking for 14. Nice looking proof quarter here. Not seeing too much wrong with it. Nice strong strike as always on the proofs, except down here there is a little uh, spot there. I'm not sure if that's on. Yep, it looks to be on the coin. Other than that, pretty decent condition. We have TJ at 13. What's going on? Will is in the building. How's it going, Will? How's your Friday so far? We have TJ at 13 now. Going once, going twice now. T 
TJ at 13. All in. All out. Last call. And we are sold to TJ for $13. Congratulations, TJ. You avoided any snipers and you won item number three for 13 bucks. TJ, we are going to add that to your wallet and you will receive entry number three for winning lot number three. What's going on? Roseanne is in the building. Thank you for joining us, Roseanne. All right, let's add this to TJ's wallet. And then we will move on to item number four. As we always do, the first five items are to get the blood flowing. They are the appetizers. Make sure you save some room for the uh, entrees and dessert. You don't want to spoil your appetite right off the bat. Yes, I am sorry about any lag that anyone's experiencing. Uh, we are getting some pretty bad weather here in New York. It's been pouring for the past three to four hours now. So uh, I do apologize about that. Hopefully we can keep things going smooth. All right, here we go. Item number four. We're taking the first trip of the night, guys. So we're going to leave the U.S. just for a moment. And we're going to head to Ecuador. This is... Item number four, a 1944 Ecuador two sucres, 72% silver coin with a weight of 10 grams. So 10 grams of 72% silver. And uh, this is circulated. So take note of the condition. We're going to start the bidding here at $1. And this was minted in Mexico, as you see. And it's very interesting to see uh, foreign currency being minted in other countries. The U.S. mints many other countries' uh, currencies as well. Uh, also, Great Britain. We have Dove Season at 1, Silver Shark at 10, Dove Season at 12, TJ taking it to 13, just edging out Sean 47 for the 1944 Ecuador 2 Sucres. TJ at 13 now. Going once. Going twice now. TJ at 13. All in. We have a sniper alert. Duck for cover. Joe V from the Grassy Knoll. And Sean47 trying to snipe it as well. Joe V just getting there first. TJ fires back at 15, just edging out Dove season. And Clay says, been the last three NQs Indians. One for me, one from De for Desi, and one for Gigi. Boom! Clay, thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to put um, a bin three. Just make sure I get you your entries. Very, very cool of you, Clay. Thank you so much, brother. And uh, let's see. We have TJ at 15 going wild. What's going on? Silver Scientist is in the building, everybody. Good to see you. Going twice now. TJ at 15. <laughs> Texas says, look at that snazzola. <laughs> He keeps his treasures in there for sure. We have another snipe by Joe V. Snipe reloaded and just edging out Carlos. We have Joe V at 16. TJ will not be denied. He fires back at 17. And he's reloaded. Clay says massive storm coming here. Yeah, we're getting hit all weekend long, Clay, which is a shame. We did have plans for uh, you know Memorial Day weekend, but unfortunately, we're going to have to improvise. Uh, either way, I, I know we're going to be able to have a good time, but you know, the weather not cooperating. We have Joe V at 18, TJ at 19, Joe V fires back at 21. They are swinging. 
Here we go. JR 13's in the building. Good to see you, Reese. It's Freaky Friday night. We have Joe V at 21. Going once. Going twice now. Joe V at 21. All in. All out. Last call. And we are sold to Joe V for $21. Dollars! Congratulations, Joe V. You get the win. A hard-fought head-to-head battle between Joe V and TJ. But Joe V, you get the win, and you will receive entry number four for winning lot number four tonight. Congratulations on the Ecuador silver coin. All right, Joe V is on the board. And Joe, we can get your... Uh, well, we do have your wallet active with the North Korea note. So we will add that to your wallet. Congratulations, Joe V. All right, let's take a look here. We're going to uh, get Clay's entries here for the final bins on the quarter ounce Incus Indian. So Clay, with that, we're going to get you three entries into the jackpot. You'll get entry number 174. Entry number 107 and entry number 181. Good luck. And he said one for play, one for Desi V, and one for Gigi. Very cool, Clay. Thank you so much for that, brother. Gigi's collection is really coming along. In fact, can anyone guess the constitutional silver coin Gigi brought into school this week for show and tell? Gigi, if you see the correct answer, Wait, the uh, the constitutional silver. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see. We have a winner! Winner, winner, chicken dinner stop in the name of love before you break my heart. That was a curveball. So... Gigi, do you want to shout out the answer here? Yeah. Go ahead, Gigi girl. The answer is Walker. Boom, Walker. And Rafe with his second in chat win of the night. Can we get some clarity? That says Walker there. If we can get some clarity, it would be great. But Rafe, you got it, brother. You edged out TJ and Silverfish. Let's see if we can... Uh, there it is. So you guys can see that there. Rafe just edging out TJ and Silverfish. A walker was the correct answer. So, Rafe, we're going to get you entry number 96. Entry number 96 for Rafe. All right. Yeah, so she brought, she brought the walker into school. And uh, before that, she had brought a bullion coin which was a one ounce kookaburra. So she has been sharing her collection with her classmates and her classmates are starting to get interested in the coins and the history behind it as well. So very, very cool. It's important that we, uh, you know, introduce our kids to not just American history, but world history. And what better way to do that than through coinage, silver and gold, you know, the coinage that we love. What's going on? Sharp Eye is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, Sharp Eye. Hope you're doing well. All right, guys. We're going to move on to item number five tonight, the final item of the appetizers before we kick it up a notch. So here we go. This is an AUBU 1964 Kennedy. 90% silver. And the starting bid is $1. $1 starting bid for the AUBU 
90% Kennedy. <laughs> Dub season says, you go, Gigi. Start selling some AG at recess. <laughs> you know, uh, fun fact, when I was a little kid in elementary school, I sold some stuff during school. It happened to be something you would never guess. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. It was the Spice Girls lollipops. Remember when they came out? They were a big hit in, in, in uh, school during my time. And we couldn't get enough of it. <laughs> go figure. Made some lunch money selling some uh, some uh, lollipops. <laughs> We have Brad at 10, Sean 47 at 12 now, TJ taking it to 15. We have TJ at 15 looking for 16. What about you guys? Any uh, any hustling going on in elementary school? <laughs> the Spice Girls, if you want to be my lover, you got to go. Well, how does it go? I don't know. <laughs> we have TJ at 15. Going once. Going to twice now. We have TJ at 15. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper on our doctor cover, Sean 47, before the soul two. Are you kidding me? We need an instant replay here. Check it out here. Sean 47 from the clock tower, long distance, and right before the soul two button. Sean landing on TJ, but it looks like it just grazed him because he is firing back at 17 now. TJ at 17. Silverfish says, I sold Bic lighters that I hand-painted in art class. That's cool. I like that. Very creative. Scrappin' says, airheads. We all love the airheads, especially <laughs> the cherry ones. And TJ at 17 going once, going twice now, all in, all out, last call, and we are sold to TJ for 17. Oh, Sean tried to snipe it at the end, but could not get it in time. We are sold to TJ at $17. Let's take a look at the instant replay here. Here is the, oh, the chat went alive there. There's the sold to. And there is Sean 47, just missing it there. So I'm sorry, Sean. But TJ, you get the win at $17. Second win of the night, and you will receive entry number five. So TJ, we're going to add that to your wallet. I was laughing at what Sean said because uh, that's what I thought the words were to that song. But I had to second guess because I said, hey, that can't be right. Who would who would go for that? If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Let me tell you, Mrs. Plantha would not be having that. All right. <laughs> uh, Sharp Eye says, uh, cola and snicker bars before tests. And that's good because sometimes you need that little energy boost right before the, uh, the tests. <laughs> Gigi, you're laughing. What, what's so funny, Gigi? Modern movie. Your, your what? My mind movie. Your mind movie? Yeah. What's going on in that mind movie? After he said some cola and stuff like that, I, I thought about kids doing like cartwheels while doing their tests. Cartwheels because of all the sugar? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What are you doing, Sharp Eye? You're giving sugar to people before their tests, and they're trying to 
run in place while they're answering if uh, question three. All right, guys, we are done with the appetizers tonight. So we're going to pull up the random comment picker. Now, the video that we will be using for the random comment picker is last week's Gold Geiger Gaw. Gold Geiger Gaw. So uh, if you haven't yet left a comment, please stay, take a second to do so. We do have the link in the description of the video, or you can just go over to my page, and it is the last auction that we did on Freaky Friday night. All right, let's pull it up here. And we're going to refresh. All right. Three more random comment picker selections. You don't have to be present to claim your entries. However, you must be here at the end of stream to claim your prize if you do not have a wallet or a an item being held here. All right. So here we go, guys. 40 unique comments. And yes, Alistair, that is absolutely correct. But I will explain why before we get into it. All right, here we go. We'll refresh one more time. 40 unique comments. Good luck. And TJ, TJ, the comment picker, actions actually selected you today. He says, here T comes walking down the street saying all the things that get you beat. Freestyle, beat down that is. Also needs more birthday songs for my birthday half month that I took off, Saka. So, TJ, when exactly is your birthday? My memory is not the best. But let me know, brother, so I can be sure to be prepared. TJ, we're going to uh, get you a selection here, an entry. Let's select two more names. We have Daniel D'Ambrosio. Love the name, Daniel. And we are going to get you down here for an entry after we receive the uh, or select the final entry, at least for now. So we'll, we'll uh, refresh it one more time. And here we go. And TJ, again, unfortunately, TJ, it is one and done. But I guess the random comment picker was uh, waiting uh, for today to rack up on all the selections. So we do have to select someone else. I apologize, TJ. But let's uh, refresh one more time. We have 45 unique comments. And let's get someone else here. And red light. Red light will receive one entry into the jackpot. Red light says, boom, baby. So let's select... Let's get you guys your entries. We have TJ for entry number 70. Number 70 for TJ. Daniel D'Ambrosio will receive entry number 63. And Red Light will receive entry number 55. Roxanne, you don't have to put on the red light. Good luck. All right, guys. Let's take a look here. <laughs> Will Land says that's the Brad Burge rule. And it wasn't just Brad. Brad was a favorite of the random comment picker. However, he wasn't the only one, but definitely wanted to give more people an opportunity via the random comment picker. We do have in chat games as well. Sharp Eye says, here's the thing about the school sugar bus. Buzz, it wears out fast, and then they need more. Trust me, Sharp Eye, I know. I mean, if you only knew how many fruit snacks I went through every month, I'm sure you have an idea, but oh, my goodness. The sugar rush for kids, hey, as long as they lose those teeth and then they kind of tone it down once they grow all of their adult teeth. Wishful thinking, I guess, but either way, we're going to move on to item number six. And I want you guys to check this out first. So item number six, we're going to back this up just a bit here. It's a United States typeset album. We're, we're talking the 7070 here. Now, it is used. So, so uh, the condition is definitely broken in. It's not missing any sleeves or any pages or anything like that. There are not any tears. 
but it is broken in and well well used. Uh, so we're gonna start the bidding here at one dollar, and uh, that's for the United States typeset 77 70 70. Excuse me. And we have Sean at one, Alistair taking it to 10. Sean 47 at 11, Alistair at 12. Rafe bumping it to 15 now. Gigi, what are you eating now? All that sugar talk got Gigi to eat an icy, <laughs> strawberry icy. We have Dizzy. Boom. Dizzy coming in at 20. Dizzy is in the building on Freaky Friday night. We have Rafe taking it to 22 now. Rafe at 22, looking for 23. Power of Cheese coming in at 25. Big Apple at 30. This is the United States typeset album. It is in used condition, but it is intact. We have Big Apple at 30 now. Going once. Rafe taking it to 31 now. Rafe coming back at 31, looking for 32, 32. Do we have 32? Does anyone have a completed United States typeset album, the 7070? If so, congratulations, because it is not easy to fill these typeset albums. We have POC at 33 now. POC at 33. Looking for 34, 34. Do we have 34? U.S. Silver Stacker is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, U.S. AG Chopsticks is in the building. AG says, I do soccer plot. The minus the gold page. Yes, this does not have the gold here. The, is the gold normally attached to the 7070? All right, let's take a look here. We have Rockzilla at 36 now. 70, 70 typeset. So there are different numbered dance school albums in the typesets. The 70, 70 is specific to uh, particular items. Yeah, there are so many different variations of the dance school albums now. But either way, they're just so hard to locate, especially the typesets. Uh we have Rockzilla at 36 now. Going. Oh, it's okay. So it's an attachment. Okay, gotcha, AG. Thank you for that. I wanted to make sure it wasn't something that was missing because uh, I wasn't familiar uh, with the gold page being an addition to the 7070. We have Big Apple coming back at 37. That's perfectly fine, Reese. You're good to go, brother. We'll get you an invoice sent tomorrow anyway, and, and uh, you'll be good to go. We have uh, Big Apple at 37. Going wands. Let's count the pages here. We have one page. Oh, almost a soccer flopper. Two pages. Three Four and five. Yes, five total pages. A complete United States typeset album. Going to Rice now. Big Apple at 37. All in. All out. Last call. We have a sniper alert. Duck for cover. Sharp Eye at 39 from the clock tower. Sharp Eye coming in at 39. The new front runner for the United States typeset album. Empty, of course, and used. The 7070, but it is intact. The plastics are all there. The pages are all there. There are no rips, but it is a broken in album. It is used. And we have Sharp Eye at 39. Going once. Going to twice now. All in. All out. Last call. And we 
we are so to sharp eye for coins for $39. Congratulations, sharp eye. A great value there. You know, that's one thing. What you're noticing is the government coinage, the constitutional coinage, the premiums are starting to go up. And the albums are no exception as well. The dance goes, the premiums have been going up as well. And, you know, one reason why these books are so popular is if you keep them in the books, they develop the book toning that we all love. Obviously, it's a long process over time. But the idea is to fill the album and put it away and pass it over to the next generation. Uh, so that book toning is definitely desirable for, for many, including myself. Uh, congratulations, Sharp Eye. You get it for 39 and you will receive entry number six into tonight's jackpot for a chance to win the Poseidon Silver Coin. That's a 2021 Poseidon up for grabs. What's going on, Silver Knight is in the building. Mr. Nilbar is here on Freaky Friday Night. Thank you guys for joining us. By the way, sh uh, shout out to Silver Knight. Silver Knight, uh, I saw a picture on Instagram of uh, Silver Poor. Did you did you make that yourself? If so, that was tremendous. Tremendous work. Absolutely love it. You did a great job with that one. All right. So Sharp Eye with the win for item number six. We're going to move on to item number seven here. Item number seven is a 1965 Canadian silver dollar, 80% silver. We're going to start the bidding here at $10. It is AUBU. Let's take a closer look without the flip here. All right, there we have it. And we have Sean at 10, Reese at 15, Spoon kicking in the door at 16, just edging out Rockzilla and TJ. TJ fires back at 17. What's going on, Spoon? Spoon is in the building, everybody. And here we go. We have TJ at 17, looking for 18. Carlos bumping it to 20 now. Carlos at 20, looking for 21, 21. We have 21. And Reese coming in at 21. Oh, man, the rain is really coming down now, guys. We have TJ at 22. TJ at 22, looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? For the 1965. Canadian silver dollar. We have Spoon coming in at 23. Carlos bumping into 25 now. Carlos at 25. Looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Dennis says, if you are looking for nice silver pours, please go check out Share Awards channel. So make sure you guys check out Share Award. I have to do so myself. Share word. I had no idea that you had silver pours, so I definitely will check that out. Thank you, Dennis, for the heads up. We have Carlos at 25 going once. Going to twice now. Carlos at 25. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper alert. Duck for cover. Reese at 26 from the clock tower. We have Reese coming in at 26. How about that? Reese getting the bid in on time. Sherry Ward says, we are having an auction tomorrow night 
the Silver Kudo, uh, Cooters channel. And what time is that, Cheryl Ward? We have Reese at 26, looking for 27 for the 1965 Canadian Silver Dollar. Reese in the driver's seat, going once. Going twice now. All in, all out. Last call. We have a sniper alert. Sean 47 from the grassy knoll. He shoots and he lands at 27. 27 looking for 28 now. Let's move this up a little bit here, guys. There we go. We have Sean in the driver's seat now at $27. Will it be enough? Going once. Going twice now. All in. All out. Last call. And we are so to Sean forty seven for twenty seven dollars. Congratulations, Sean. Your first win of the night. And it comes for item number seven. With that win, you will receive entry number seven into tonight's jackpot. Congratulations, Sean. And we are going to add this to your wallet. Sean 47. All right. I have to uh, take this, this body brace off. It is definitely uh, limiting me here. Ooh, I can breathe again, breathe again. All right, thank you, Mrs. Plata. All righty. We are going to move on to item number eight. Item number eight is a 1915 Denver Barber Half Dollar. 1915D. And there is the reverse. Starting bid is $10. We have Mr. Nilbar at 10. Dizzy bumping it to 20 now. Dizzy at 20. Looking for 21, 21. We have 21. For the 1915D, let's take a look at that headband here. You can see the L, the I, and the Y. Not quite. But we have Dizzy at 20. Going once. Going twice now. We have a sniper alert, duck for cover. Brad coming in at 22 now. Brad at 22, Dizzy bumping it to 25 now. We have Dizzy at 25, looking for 26. Brad at 30. We have Brad firing back at $30. Brad at 30, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? 1915D. Barber half dollar, 90% silver. Going once. Going twice now. Brad at 30. All in. All out. Last call. And we 
are sold to Brad Burge for $30. Congratulations, Brad. You squeeze out the win for the 1915 D Barber half and you get it for $30. Congratulations, Brad. With that win, you will receive entry number eight. But hold on one second because we are going to roll the price back to $25. And we're going to turn it into a buy it now for random date barber half dollar. So, Brad, you get it for $25. And if anyone wants one for $25, it will be a random date. However, you can expect the condition that you see here. So we have a bin from Dizzy. Dizzy with a bin one. All right. And Dizzy, we're going to get your entry number. Let's take a look here. Entry number 69 for Dizzy. And we have a bin from Spoon. Spoon with the bin. Bin one for Spoon. And Spoon, you will receive entry number 50. Dizzy says, I don't want it for me. Give it to Dennis. Boom. Dennis. Dizzy's returning the love. Dennis uh, won a red toned rosy silver proof dime last week and gave it over to dizzy because he knows dizzy loves the toned dimes team dimes and look at that paying it forward so we're gonna put give to dennis and very cool of you dizzy we're gonna add that to dennis's wallet aka dennis's duffel bag And we're going to put from Dizzy. That way, you know where it came from. Very, very cool. All right, Brad's opening the B out of the BPB. Make sure you guys grab some beverages and snacks. Keep them close by. That way, you don't miss a second. And uh, Spoon, you'll get entry number 50. All right. Actually, this one was won by Brad. So this one belongs to Brad. And we will grab a random date one for Dizzy, a.k.a. Uh, also giving it over to Dennis Stewart. So uh, from Dizzy over to Dennis. And Brad, we're going to add the 1915D to your wallet. Sorry for the blunder. All right, we are good to go now. Sean bringing the BPB for the chat. Grab a hold, they run out quickly. Sean says, I still have some rosy dimes in my wallet, don't I? Can you put two of them in the EOS giveaway? Boom! Sean47 has just upgraded the Saka Plot the jackpot to three separate prizes. Thank you so much for that, Sean. Let's grab your wallet here. Here is your wallet. And uh, let's grab. Oh, you hear the rosy dimes. They're dropping, but I'll never drop a dime on you guys. We have two rosy dimes here. And that is courtesy of Sean47. That is jackpot prize number three. All right. Let's take a look here. Big Red is in the building. Good to see you, Red. Hope you're doing well. It is Freaky Friday night, and we are moving on to item number nine. Item number nine. I love looking at these up close and personal. Here we go. Uh, Dennis, Clay's numbers. Let's see here. Uh, Clay, you get entry number 174, entry number 107. And entry number 181. 
All right, let's move on here to item number nine. Item number nine is a B oh, a 40% silver proof coin. Low mintage alert, low mintage alert, only 13,000 minted on planet Earth. 13,000 minted on planet Earth with a weight of 11.5 grams. We're going to start the bidding here at $10. We have Rafe at 15, Brad at 20, Rafe taking it to 22 now, SHTF at 30 now. We have SHTF at 30 for the 1972 Panama half Balboa silver proof coin. And the year 1972, a slightly lower mintage than the years preceding it. We have SHTF at 30, looking for 31 now. Going once. Going twice now. SHTF at 30. All in. All out. We have a sniper alert. Duck for cover. Red light coming in at 31 now from the grassy knoll with a very sneaky snipe. SHTF fires back at 32 now. We have SHTF coming back at 32. And take a look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. SHTF at 32 going on. Going to Weiss now. All in. All out. Last call. And. We are sold to SHTF for $32. Oh, my goodness. We had a late snipe. Let's take a look at the instant replay here. Let's take a look. We have the sold to SHTF. I apologize, Carlos. Just missed the snipe attempt. That was very, very close. But SHTF, you got the win at $32. Congratulations. We're going to get you down here. And with that win, you will receive entry number nine. Entry number nine here for SHTF. All right. We love those Panama Balboas. Those are awesome. One of the nicest, arguably one of the nicest foreign silver designs out there. All right, here we go. All right, let's play a game here. We're going to play a game. It's game time. This is for one entry into the jackpot. First person that gets correctly on my screen We'll get the entry for a chance to win the one ounce Poseidon. A word that rhymes with proof. A word that rhymes with proof. And let's take a look here. Sean says orange. Very close, Sean. <laughs> we're looking. We're searching. We're trying to find. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Stop in the name of love. We have a winner. And let's take a look here. We're going to look through together. A word that rhymes with proof. And, and there it is. Truth is the correct answer. Truth. Congratulations, Sean47.
you will receive an entry into the jackpot for a chance to win the Poseidon silver coin tonight. We have three jackpot prizes. And let's uh let's get you an entry, Sean. Congratulations. You you will receive entry number 90. Entry number 90. All right. It is in there. Good luck. All right. <laughs> Sharp says, that's a soft rhyme. Truth and proof. <laughs> you made me say it out loud. I had to say, wait, does it exactly sound the same? All right. Camera's a little loose today. Webcam, go home. You're drunk. All right, there we go. All right, now we're talking. All right, next up, guys, we have a toner alert. Toner alert. Next up is item number 10. A 1967 South Africa one rand 80% silver proof coin with a mintage of 25,000 on planet Earth. Weighing in at 15 grams, here it is. Now, this is BU, but there is some toning. And let's take a look. You can see some greenish and purplish. Starting bid is 10. We have Dizzy at 15. Spoon taking it to 20. Rafe at 22 now. We have Rafe at 22. Looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? And Spoon bringing it to 23. Carlos sees the 23 and bumps it to 25 now. 25 looking for 26. Yes, it is absolutely gorgeous toning here. And normally I like the bluish and the greenish, but this has such a nice obverse as well. We have Spoon coming in at 26 now. Spoon at 26, looking for 27. Spoon at 26. Will it be enough? Going once. Going twice now. We have Spoon at 26 for the 1967 South Africa. We have a sniper alert. Duck for cover. Kylie and Kaylee coming in at 27 now from the clock tower. We have Kylie and Kaylee in the front seat now at $27 for the toner. I might have to stand. I might have to stand here, guys. This is killing me. We have Spoon coming back at 28 now. Kylie and Kaylee coming back at 29. Back and forth they go. And Spoon at 30. Head to head battle here for item number 10, the 1967 South Africa, one rand, 15 grams of 80% silver. And a mintage of 25,000 on planet Earth. And we have Kylie and Kaylee at 31 now. They are now in the center of the ring, toe to toe, and they are trading shots here. Kylie and Katie and Spoon taking it to 32. Spoon at 32. Back and forth they go. Spoon at 32. Looking for 33, 33. Do we have 33? Mr. Nilbar passing around the drinks for the chat. We have a good one here, guys. Spoon at 32. Kylie coming back at 33. Spoon fires back at 34. Spoon at 34. Will it be enough? 34 looking for 35 now. Look at that, Tony. 
That's the money shot right there with the light reflecting right on there. That is beautiful. And Kylie says, we're not done yet. $35 bid. Spoon at 36. They are trading shot for shot here. And Spoon at 36. And Kylie and Kaylee is are out. Spoon at 36 now. Going once. Going twice now. Spoon at 36. All in. All out. Last call. And we are sold to Spoon for $36. Congratulations, Spoon. What a head-to-head -head battle. Battle of the night so far for item number 10. And Spoon, you get the win. Congratulations, Spoon. With that win, you will receive entry number 10 into tonight's jackpot for the one-ounce Poseidon silver coin. So we'll get you down here for 36, and we're going to add this to your wallet. Congratulations, Spoon. All right, guys, I'm going to have to tone it down a little bit here. Dealing with uh, a little pain tolerance. And uh, we're going to get through this, though. We have Spoon with the win. All right, next up is item number 11. Item number 11 is a 1922 piece dollar. 1922 piece dollar minted in Philly. Starting bid is $20. Still has some of its original luster. However, it is circulated. Kylie and Kaylee at 25. Mr. Nilbar taking it to 26 now. Mr. Nilbar at 26, looking for 27. Red Light taking it to 30 now. We have Red Light at 30, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? And Dizzy with the $5 super chat. Boom! Dizzy. He says, no pain, no gain. Train? <laughs> Thank you, brother. I really appreciate it. No pain, no gain. A little pain, but still gain. And we have Kylie and Kaylee at 31. Kylie at, and Kaylee at 31 looking for 32 for the 1922 piece dollar. Then it says, I keep telling you, Saka, some of those positions are almost <laughs> impossible to do. <laughs> Well, Mrs. Plata, blame her. <laughs> we have Kylie at 31. Going once now. Going twice now. This is minted in Philly, Sharp Eye. And we have a $5 super chat from AG. Boom! AG, thank you so much for the super chat. He says the ibuprofen fund. <laughs> now, I hate taking those things, but I may have to tonight, guys. Uh, thank you so much, AG. I appreciate that. We have uh, Kylie at 31. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper.
Sniper alert, duck for cover, red light, throwing up the stop sign that says, I'm going to snipe it here at $32. Red light at 32 looking for 33 now. And we have a $5 super chat from Clay37. Boom, Clay. He says, I hear the train coming. Choo, choo. It seems to be coming. Thank you so much, Clay. I appreciate it. And SHTF says, boom, two, two. $5 super chat. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it, guys. We have red light at 32. Kylie coming in at 33 now. Kylie at 33 for the 1922 piece dollar. Going once. Going twice now. Kylie at 33. All in. All out. Last call. And we are so to Kylie and Kaylee for $33. Congratulations, Kylie and Kaylee. You get the peace dollar, 1922 for $33. Can't be mad at that price point. And that's their first peace dollar. Congratulations. And I am honored to be able to give you your first peace dollar. Thank you for winning your first piece dollar on the Soccer Plot, the channel. That is awesome. And here's one more look at it. She is beautiful. All right. So we're going to get you down here for 33. Congratulations. Let's add that to your wallet. All right, guys, next up, the only $1 face value lot of constitutional silver. But hold on, we have a $5 super chat from Sherry Ward. Boom, Sherry, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Choo-choo. Now, the train is coming, but if you're aware of what's going on in New York, I recommend avoiding the train if possible. It is Quite hectic underground as of late. It's like a war zone down there. Thank you so much, guys, for the super chat. I appreciate it. I really do. And uh, we're going to move on. to uh, First off, B and K, you'll receive entry number 11. Uh, Kylie and Kaylee receive entry number 11 into the jackpot. And we're going to move on to item number 12 here which is a $1 face value lot of Jefferson War Nickels, 35% silver. They are circulated. So let's take a look here. And there it is. Circulated Jefferson War Nickels. There are 20 of these. And they are in circulated condition. The starting bid is $20. We have Kylie at 20, Rafe taking it to 25 now. Rafe at 25, TJ at 28. We have TJ at 28, looking for 29, 29. Do we have 29? Dizzy at 30, just edging out Rafe. We have Dizzy and Silver Streak at $229. Boom! <laughs> we have Rafe at 32. I'm sure that was a typo, Silver Streak. We have Rafe at 32, looking for... <laughs> Silver Streak says no. We have TJ at 32 and a half. And half dollar bids are accepted for $1 face value lots. That is the only exception to anything past $10. We have Kellen at 34. Kellen at 34, looking for 35. 
I don't like when they're stacked like this. I like to see the faces and the uh, the obverses and the reverses. There we go. That's beautiful. A handful of war nickels. 20 to be exact. We have Kellen at 34. Sharp Eye with a $5 super chat. Boom! Sharp Eye says for Gigi, not for your sink. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sharp Eye. We appreciate it. Gigi, you got a super chat. <laughs> Thank you. So go raid the sock up lot the wallet over here. Take a $5 bill. Not a $50 bill. Take a $5 bill. Very, very sneaky. We have Silver Streak at 34 and a half. Red Light taking it to 35 now. Red Light at 35. $500? $500? No! <laughs> See, Silver Streak, you're not the only one saying no. We have Red Light at 35, looking for 36 now. Let's switch hands. I was using the other hand to favor the, the left side, but now I need it to type. We have red light at 35 going once. Going to twice now. All in. All out. Last call. And. We are sold to red light for $35. Congratulations, red light. You got it. It was quicker to just type red light. I keep forgetting about the uh, the thing in front of your, what's that called? Brain fart. What's that called in front of your name, red light? Either way, Red Light, congratulations. You have won $1 face value in Jefferson War Nickels, and you got it for $35. bucks. we are going to add this to your wallet. Sean says it's a tilde. <laughs> Dennis says it's a squig squiggly line. That works just fine for me, Dennis. I just didn't want to sound generic. <laughs> now I don't feel as bad. <laughs> Let's uh, grab Red Light's wallet here. And Red Light, we're going to take a look here at your wallet. And here it is, Red Light. And those are your items. Disregard the tags. They were just to label it. But now that they're in your wallet, we will add the war nickels into your wallet as well. All right. <laughs> Kathy says the, the wiggly worm thing. <laughs> Don't even think about it, Sean. I know where your mind is going. All right. <laughs> Let's move on to item number 13. We are making our way over to Norway for a 1970. Let's... Uh, Substitute this so that we can keep the slabs from falling over. Item number 13 is a 1970 Norway 25 kroner 0.875 silver coin with a weight of 29 grams of silver. Very cool. Check this out. And there you have it. Starting bid is $20. $20 starting bid for the 1970 Norway. 25 kroner. We have Spoon at 25 now. Spoon at 25. Looking for 26. Silver Street coming in at 26 now. Rafe at 27. Sean says it's a double dude obverse. <laughs> so nice they had to do it twice. And we have Silver Streak at 28. Spoon taking it to 29. Rafe at 30. Rafe at 30. Looking for 31. And guys, 
You have not been drinking too much. There are two heads on this obverse. <laughs> it hurts when I laugh. We have Spoon at 31. 31 looking for 32 now. For the 1970 25 Kroner. And they do have the edge lettering here. I'm not sure if you can pick that up on the capsule. What in the world was that? It sounded like that a, was Ethan's toy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sounded like a rattlesnake. We have rattlesnakes in New York City? Well, we do have some rattlesnakes out there walking the streets in New York. Look out. We have Spoon at 31. Going once now. Going twice now. Spoon at 31. All in, all out, last call, and we are sold to Spoon for 31 Dollars! Congratulations, Spoon. You get the win. $31 for the 1970 Norway 25 kroner. This is definitely a first on the soccer plot, the channel. Not easy to get these. And Spoon, great deal for 31 With that win, you will receive entry number 13 for a chance to win. Tonight's soccer plot, the jackpot. What's going on? 710 is in the building. Good to see you. So we're going to add this to your wallet spoon. Congratulations. And let's see. TJ says, please take a 1943D Lincoln Steel sent from my wallet and put it in the EOS giveaway. Boom, TJ, with the upgrade. We now have four jackpot prizes, including but not limited to the one ounce Poseidon silver coin. Thank you so much for that, TJ. We're going to pull your wallet here and grab a steel scent. Very cool, TJ. Thank you so much for that, brother. Here we have it. And uh, let's put it in a flip here. And there we have it. 1943D. And we are going to add that to the jackpot, courtesy of TJ. That, that is jackpot prize number four. All right, guys. Let's move on to item number 14. From items number 14 to 16, we're looking at one ounce silver. So here we go. Item number 14 is a BU 2021 St. Helena one ounce, the Queen's Virtue Series victory. Silver coin. This is three nines fine silver. And the starting bid is $30. We have Sharp Eye taking it to 31 now. Uh, excuse me, 35. Brad taking it to 36. Brad at 36, looking for 37. Absolutely gorgeous looking one ounce coin here. And we have Red Light at 40. Red light at 40, looking for 41. Anyone have the proof version of this? I have not seen the proof up close and personal, but I have seen pictures of the proof, and it looks stunning. The BU is stunning also. And we have red light at 40, looking for 41. Going on. Going 
twice now. Red light at 40. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper alert, Carlos, from the clock tower at $41. Carlos coming in at 41. Will it be enough? Carlos at 41, looking for 42, 42. Do we have 42 for the one ounce, the Queen's Virtue Series victory silver coin? Going on. And red light taking it to 42 now. We have red light at 42, looking for 43. It says victory through harmony. Two shade of that. Red light at 42. Going once. Going twice now. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper alert. Duck for cover. Sharp Eye coming in at 43. Sharp Eye at 43. Looking for 44 now. Sharp Eye getting in on the action here. Trying to snipe it and steal it at the end here. Will it happen? Sharp Eye at 43. Looking for 44. For the BU 2021 St. Helena one ounce victory silver coin going once, going twice now, all in, all out. Last call. And we are sold to Sharp Eye for Coins for $43. Congratulations, Sharp Eye. Sorry for the lack of enthusiasm for item number 14. Congratulations, Sharp Eye. You get it for $43. As I am uh, trying to push through this, guys. Item number 14 was the BU 2021 St. Helena One Ounce, the Queen's Virtue. And Sharp Eye, he says, thank you. Thank you very much. And we're going to get you down here for 43. Congratulations, Sharp Eye. You will receive entry number 14 into the jackpot. All right. Uh, well, I'm dealing with a, a very... Uh, Painful injury right now, Mr. Nelbar. So it's kind of restricting my uh, restricting my breathing a little bit, restricting my ability to be as energetic as I really want to be right now. But uh, either way, guys, you know I can't miss Freaky Friday Nights live from New York, New York. We're gonna. Move on to item number 15 here out of 25 items. Next up is the BU 2019 American Silver Eagle. And there we have it, starting bid is $30. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sean says, maybe it's time you tried crack. <laughs> I would highly recommend that you avoid that at all costs, everyone. <laughs> Do not listen. Do not listen to Sean 47. <laughs> We, it hurts. Stop, Stop making me laugh. <laughs> we have Brad at 30, Carlos at 31, Rafe at 33, Red Light at 38 now. <laughs> I can't. We have Red Light at 38. I'm getting goosebumps here. <laughs> Red Light at 38, looking for 39 now. For the 2019 American Silver Eagle in BU condition, going on, going twice now. We have red light at 38 now. Oh, let. All out. Last call. And don't forget the squiggly line. We have a sniper alert. Drop for cover. It's a double snipe. One from the clock tower. One from the grassy knoll. Who shot first? It's sharp eye for coins. Let's take a look at the instant replay. This is what I'm seeing on my screen here. We have sharp eye and Carlos, and it was close. It was a bang, bang play, but I do have to go with what I see on my screen first. Just edging out the sold two button. So we have sharp eye at 39. Red light taking it to 40. We have red light at 40. Looking for 41. And this is an absolute pristine condition. Be beautiful. Red light at 40. Looking for 41. Going once. Going twice now. All in, all out, last call, and we have a sniper alert sharp by with the precision, with the accuracy, with the snipe at $41. We have sharp by at 41 looking for 42 now. This is item number 15 out of 25 items tonight. Sharp Eye in the driver's seat trying to drive off with the 2019 American Silver Eagle. Can he do it? Going for the back-to-back -back here. Going once. Going twice now. All in, all out, last call, and we have a sniper alert, snipe for snipe, red light with a snipe at 42, back and forth they go, Sniper City has arrived for item number 15. And yes, Dizzy, great point. Capsule is included, guys. That's a big deal. <laughs> we have Sharp Eye firing back at 43 now. Sharp Eye at 43, looking for 44, 44. Do we have 44? The members making it rain emojis in the chat. Thank you guys so much. We have Sharp Eye at 43, looking for 44. Red Light firing back at 45. Who's going to run out of ammo first? They are going head-to-head -head here. Sharp Eye and Red Light. Red Light at 45, aiming the Red Light at Sharp Eye. Be careful, Sharp Eye. We have Red Light at 45. Going once. 
going to Weiss now. All in, all out, last call, and we are sold to red light. For $45. Congratulations, Red Light. A hard fought battle and a hard earned victory preventing the, the sharp eye back to back win. Red Light, you got it and you won the 2019 ASE in BU condition. All right. Congratulations, Red Light. With that win, you will receive entry number 15. And uh, let's see here. You know what? We're going to roll the price back to $43 for you, Red Light. And we're going to open it to a bin. But we only have five more available. So hit me with the bin if you want the BU 2019s for $43. You will get an entry along with that. So red light, congratulations on the win. We're going to add this to your wallet. And if anyone wants one at $43, just hit me with the bin and we will get you an entry as well. All right, sharp eye with the bin. Sharp eye with the bin one. So sharp eye, we're going to get you down here for the bin one. And you will receive entry number 54. So entry number 54 for Sharp Eye. Entry number 15 for Red Light. And there are uh, four more American Silver Eagles available. They are all 2019 in BU condition. All right, guys. Let's play a game. I think it's time for game time. Here we go. We're going to put a question in chat. First person to guess correctly. On my screen, we'll gain one entry. And we have Spoon with the bin four. Spoon cleaning house here. Spoon with the four ASEs. So, Spoon, let's get you four entries here. And your entries are 130, 56, 75 and 100. So there you have it, Spoon. 130, 56, 75, and 100. All right, Spoon. All right, here we go, guys. It's game time. A U.S. state go. A U.S. state. Multiple guesses are accepted, but the first one on my screen will win it. Here we go. We are looking. We are searching. We are trying to find the correct answer. We have not found it yet. The game is wide open now. What's going on? Esla Sinski's in the building. Leo's in the house. We are looking. We have not found it. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Stop, drop, open up shop. Oh, we have a winner. Let's take a look here. Let's do this quickly so that we can find out who the correct, what the correct answer was and who got it first. Can we get some clarity? There we go. Here we go, guys. I'll stop when I see it. And there it is. The winner is Sparkle Flare. New Hampshire is the correct answer. With that win, you will receive an entry into tonight's jackpot, which has Four separate prizes, including the one-ounce Poseidon silver coin. 
So uh, congratulations, Sparkle. You are halfway there. And we are going to get your entry number 71. Sparkle Flair with entry number 71. Good luck. All right, guys. Let's move on to item number 16. And a nice looking coin here. We're going to uh, just make a swap so that we can hold up the slabbage. Check this out, guys. This is a 2016 one-ounce Congo African Lion 3.9 fine silver coin with a mintage of 50000 on planet Earth. Starting bid here is $30. $30 starting bid for the one-ounce Congo. And there we have it. In BU condition, we have Silver Streak starting us off at 30. Silver Streak at 30. Look at the 31, 31. Do we have 31? Mr. Nilbar bumping into 33 now. Mr. Nilbar at 33, looking for 34. Leo at 35. Leo at 35. Carlos taking it to 36. Rafe bumping into 38 now. It's a battle royal for item number 16. The BU 2016 one ounce Congo African Lion 39 fine silver. We have Leo coming back at 39 now. Leo at 39, looking for 40. Leo just edging out Carlos. We have Leo at 39, looking for 40, 40. Do we have 40? Nice looking coin here for sure. Beautiful. Leo at 39. Going once, going twice now. We have a sniper alert, duck for cover. Carlos firing and he lands a $40 snipe from the clock tower. Carlos at 40, will it be enough? Carlos at 40, look at the 41, 41. Do we have 41? 2016 one ounce Congo African. Lion going on going to Weiss. Now Pammy fires from the clock tower with a snipe of her own at 42. Pammy getting in on the action at 42, looking for 43 now. For the 2016 one ounce Congo African Lion Silver Coin, 50,000 minted on planet Earth. Pammy at 42, looking for 43 now. Going once. Going. Twice now. Pammy at 42. All in. All out. Last call. And we are. So to Pammy Jones for $42. Congratulations, Pammy. You just got a win for item number 16. That's the 2016 one ounce Congo African Lion silver coin. And you got it. And with that win, you will receive entry number 16 into tonight's jackpot. Congratulations, Pammy, on the win. We're going to get you down here for 42, and we are going to bag it and tag it. Pammy, is that your first win on the Soccer Plot the channel? I'm not sure. It might be, but correct me if I'm wrong. All right, Pammy. And 
that was item number 16 out of 25 items. All right. I stand corrected. Pammy has won on the channel before. And she has been. So not only did she win, she has been. Oh, yes. Pammy bent earlier today. The quarter ounce in Q's Indian. That's right. And Pammy, your, your number for that is 73. So you have entry number 73 and entry number 16. Sean says, Mrs. 47 was like, oh, I like that. So I said, do you want me to bid on it? She saw the price and said, never mind. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. <laughs> do it anyway. She won't be mad if it, as long as it's for her. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Pammy Jones says, put the bin in the EOS giveaway. Boom. Pammy with the unbelievable generosity. Thank you so much, Pammy. That's the quarter ounce Incubes Indian. And we're going to put here EOS giveaway. Very generous of Pammy. That takes the jackpot to five separate prizes tonight, including the one ounce Poseidon silver coin. Thank you so much for the support, Pammy. Very generous of you. And we're going to uh, note that here. And let's grab the quarter ounce. Incuse Indian. I like the Incuse Indians. They're very, very thin. And they have what's like a matte finish. Matte finish? Matte finish? And here it is. The quarter ounce Incuse Indian, courtesy of Pammy Jones. Thank you so much, Pammy. I appreciate that. Jackpot prize number five. All right. Let's see here. We are up to item number 17. And this one, this one I almost had on last week's auction, but I held it over. I said, do I want to let this one go? Well, we're letting it go tonight, guys. Check this out. Let me take it out of the flip because item number 17 is a 1937 Australia one crown sterling silver coin weighing in at 28.27 grams. And look at that. It has some nice dark toning around it. And look at the... Uh, other side here, absolutely gorgeous look to this coin here. I love the patina. 1937. We have Dizzy at 35. We started the bid at 30. Dizzy taking it to 35. Sean 47 at 36 now. Dizzy at 38. We have Dizzy at 38 looking for 39. Spoon taking it to 40 now. Spoon at 40 looking for 41. And this is a nice piece of silver here guys from australia spoon at 40 and look at that we have carlos at 41 now carlos at 41 looking for 42 42 do we have 42 so the 1937 australia one crown 0.925 silver coin Carlos at 41. Spoon fires back at 42 now. Spoon at 42 looking for 43. And I do not get these often. Going once. Going to Weiss now. Could Spoon steal it? All in. We have a sniper alert. Duck for cover. Carlos says not so fast. Coming in at $43 with a sneaky snipe. We have Carlos at 43 looking for 44 And yeah, this is my uh, preferred side of the coin here. 
Love the patina. Love the detail. We have Spoon firing back at 44 now. Spoon at 44, looking for 45. Back and forth they go. Will it be enough? Spoon at 44. Going once. Going twice now. Spoon at 44. All in, all out, last call, and we have a sniper alert, duck for cover, Carlos fires back, he rolls his eyes, he puts the sniper scope right on one of those eyes, and he shoots from the clock tower at $45. We have Carlos at 45 and Spoon without hesitation. He ducks behind the cement wall, pops his head out, and shoots a snipe of his own. We have Spoon at 46 now. 46, looking for 47, 47. Do we have 47 for the 1937 Australia one crown silver coin? The suspense going on going to twice now spoon at 46 for the 1937 Australia one crown silver coin all in all out last call and we are so to spoon for forty six. Dollars! Congratulations, Spoon. You get the win. Spoon with the win for item number 17. That's the 1937 Australia. One crown silver coin. Congratulations, Spoon. A very nice foreign silver coin heading your way. That is a nice one for sure. And that is in your wallet. And uh, that's for $46. And with that, you will receive entry number 17 into tonight's jackpot. All right, guys, we are inching closer to the dessert menu. I'm thinking flan. I'm thinking chocolate mousse cake. I'm thinking thres leche cake. I'm thinking of Boston cream from Dunkin' Donuts. I can go on and on. <laughs> All right, next up is item number 18. And we're going to just lay these down. I do not want them to fall over. Item number 18 is a one ounce Geiger Original Square Series three nine fine silver bar. Now, it is not perfect, but it is still a gorgeous, high-premium silver uh, bar. We're going to start the bidding at 30. We have Rafe at 35. Mr. Nilbar coming in at 38 now. Mr. Nilbar at 38, looking for 39. Sharp Eye at 40, just edging out Spoon. Sharp Eye at 40, looking for 41, 41. Do we have 41? For the one ounce Geiger Silver Square. Sharp Eye at 40. Carlos bumping it to 45 now. Carlos at 45 looking for 46. Will it be enough? Going once. And Sharp Eye taking it to 50 now. 
Sharp Eye at 50, looking for 51 for the one ounce Geiger original square series. And we actually last week gave away a one gram gold Geiger on a Freaky Friday's auction last week. Probably will be end, end up doing it again in the near future. We have Sharp Eye at 50 going. Once going to Weiss now. All in, all out. Last call and we. R. So to sharp eye for coins for fifty dollars. Congratulations, sharp eye! You get the win for item number eighteen, the one ounce Geiger Silver Square. You get it for fifty, and you will receive entry number eighteen into tonight's jackpot for a chance to win one out of five separate prizes, including and not limited to the Poseidon. So Sharp Eye, congratulations. We're going to add that to your wallet. You got the uh, Dance Go album earlier as well. And the St. Helena. All right. And guys, it is Memorial Day weekend. So you know I had to put something up related to our fine veterans. So item number 19 is face reveal. Look at that perfection right there. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Let's get a close-up here. Item number 19 is the one ounce battle of Iwo Jima. Three nines, fine silver, proof round. And the starting bid is $35. $35 starting bid here. And there you see it. We have Carlos at 45, just edging out sharp by Pammy, taking it to 50. Catherine Lee at 55 now. There is Operation Detachment. And we have Carlos taking it to 56. Carlos at 56, looking for 57. 56, looking for 57 for item number 19. Battle of Iwa Jima. And we have Pammy bumping it to 60. We have Pammy at 60, looking for 61 now. One ounce silver proof round. Will it be enough? Going once. Going twice now. Pammy at 60. All in. All out. We have a sniper alert duck for cover. Carlos from the clock tower at 61. He shot and he scored. And, he's, and he edged out Catherine Lee. We have Carlos at 61 looking for 62 now.
sniper alert successful and carlos in the driver's seat at 61 going once going to rice now carlos at 61 all in all out. We have a sniper alert. The Saint kicking down the door. He says it's Freaky Friday and I am here, but I am bringing a snipe from the clock tower at 62. Good to see you, the Saint. The Saint at 62 looking for 63. <laughs> Busy with the duck for cover. And the Saint at 62. Very sneaky fire. Very sneaky sniper fire. And we have the Saint at 62 looking for 63. Carlos can't believe it. He thought he almost had it. And he almost had it. And the Saint came out of nowhere. We have the Saint at 62. Going. Bonds. Carlos firing back at 63 now. Battle of Iwa Jima. 3-9 fine silver proof round. The Saint coming in at 64 now. Back and forth they go. The Saint at 64 looking for 65. It is a gorgeous piece here, guys. There you see that iconic image that we all know and love with the American flag waving in the wind there. We have Carlos coming back at 65 now. The gloves are off. You know, it's bare knuckle fighting here now. We have Carlos at 65 looking for 66. For the one ounce silver proof round. Going. One. Going to Weiss. Now we have a shot here. The Saint with a snipe at 66. He says 66 for my brother, Henry V. The Saint is on a mission for Henry V. The Saint at 66 looking for 67 now. Head-to-head -head battle between the Saint and Carlos. Who wants it more? It's the battle of the night right here for item number 19. And we have the Saint in the driver's seat with the bulletproof vest and windows. Will it be enough? Going once. Mr. Nelbar with the popcorn. BPB is in the building. Going to Weiss now. And a sniper alert. Carlos somehow, some way, busts through the bulletproof windows. That must, have, that must be a heavy caliber weapon Carlos is holding right there, figuratively speaking. And we have Carlos at 67. Back and forth they go. We started the bid here at 35. And this is a battle. They are wounded. They are fighting to the death, and we have Carlos at 67. The Saint firing back at 68. The knuckles are bloody, but they keep fighting forward like a Rocky movie. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. Carlos with the right hand. Right hand. He's reeling against the ropes now. The Saint is reeling. We have Carlos at 70. 70 looking for 71 now. Unbelievable. Carlos, could he pull it off? 70, looking for 71. Going. Bonds. Going. Twice now. All in. All out. 
Last call. And we are so to Carlos for seventy dollars. Boom, Carlos with the win. Unbelievable. What a battle. We started at 35 and all the way to 70. They battled to the death. And Carlos is the last man standing. Congratulations, Carlos. What a win. And with that win, you will receive entry number 19. But a big round of applause goes to Carlos and the Saint for giving us the battle of the night so far. How about that? Were you not entertained? Because I sure was. A great fight indeed, Mr. Nilbar. What a battle. And Carlos, after trying over and over again, snipe after snipe, right hand after left hand, Carlos gets his first win of the night. Well, actually, second win of the night. Carlos did win item number two earlier. All right, Carlos, we are going to add this to your wallet. A great piece to add to the collection. And uh, let's pull up Carlos's wallet here. All right, it is in there. Congratulations, Carlos. Marie says, my mom's cousin was a POW and had a school named after him in Mercedes, Texas with a purple heart. And you know what? We appreciate your uh, your mom's cousin's service. That is incredible. I, I mean, what he had, had to go through and uh, what better way to honor his legacy than to name a school after him. That is very awesome. Thank you for sharing that, Maria. And it is Memorial Day, guys, so we have to hold a heavy heart for those that uh, sacrificed their lives to fight for our country. And uh, that is what this weekend is all about. So make sure you, uh, you keep that in mind. It's not just about barbecuing hot dogs and hamburgers, although we love them. Uh, Kathy says his... His sister is my mother-in-law who is 99 and she still cries at the death of her brother there. And, and as you would expect, Kathy, that, you know, that is always going to be something that's heartbreaking. And uh, may he rest in peace. You said his sister. Let's see here. Did I just read two separate things? Oh, Kathy says his mother signed the paperwork for him to go at 17. Wow, so young. So young. May he rest in peace. And uh, Mrs. Splata's brother is in the military. He's an Army Ranger, and he's stationed in North Carolina. Since he was 18. Since he was 18, yeah. So he's 42 now. Yeah. He's been, oh, he's 42. Oh, he's, so yeah. yeah. Over 20 years of service. Let's see. Sean says, uh, read Carlos's last. Oh, my goodness. Carlos says, give it to Saint for the brother Henry. Boom. Carlos. Oh, my goodness. Carlos is passing it on to Henry V. Unbelievable. Carlos, that is incredibly generous. Are you kidding me? The saint says, that's too generous. Please keep it. Oh, my goodness. Carlos, after a battle like that, to pay it forward is incredibly generous. And what a gesture. 
Oh, my goodness. So Carlos wants to pass it on to the saint for Henry. Is that correct, Carlos? Because the saint says, please keep it. So you guys figure it out. Or Carlos, you let me know what to do here. You did win it. So you let me know what you want me to do here, brother. And I'll make a note of that. And Carlos confirms. So that's to the saint for Henry V. Is that correct? Give to the saint for Henry V. Oh, my goodness. What a gesture. How beautiful is that? Carlos, that was incredible of you, brother. I, I, I can't believe that. And uh, I'm not sure where Henry is. I hope he's doing okay. I did see him on chat, I think, sometime last week. But definitely, what a great gesture. That is incredible. Wow. Brad, so speaking of, I have I just been miss, uh, been missing Henry. Yes, we all miss Henry V. I did talk to him behind the scenes briefly. You know, we do all have a lot on our plates, guys. Uh, but we always welcome Henry here. And if Henry is listening in the background, say hello to the people, Henry. <laughs> Henry V, not to be confused with Henry the Eighth. <laughs> All right. Wow. Shout out to Carlos for that incredible gesture, passing it to the saint for Henry V. How cool is that? So we're going to pull that out of Carlos's wallet here. Carlos, that was incredible, brother. I can't get over that. <laughs> TJ says, Henry likes to watch. Come out of the shadows, Henry. Show yourself, Henry. <laughs> Where are all the lurkers tonight? Are there any lurkers in the building tonight? Give me those lurker eyes if you're here so we can acknowledge you guys. Oh, yes, definitely very emotional, Kathy. And just know that no one's in it alone. We're all, you know, here together. And uh, it's one of those holidays that unify the country and the world. So uh, Memorial Day, uh, although it could be very emotional, uh, it's the time that we keep our fallen soldiers alive and we keep their memories in our hearts. And that's every day. But this is the weekend where we celebrate Memorial Day for those that we have lost and the pizza guy is in the building lurking, lurking. Sherry Ward, Sharp Eye, Clay 37, AG Chopsticks. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, we're going to note here. So this is going to Henry V. Courtesy of Carlos. What's going on, Butterbeans? Great Scott Jarvie lurking in the background. All right, we're going to move on to the final item in the entree portion before we get into the dessert menu here. So guys, this item is not an easy item to locate. In fact, I've only had this kind of item one other time since I started the auctions. Item number 20 is a 1931. Latvia, five lati, 0.835 silver coin. It weighs in at, tw uh, at 25 grams, and we're starting the bid at $35. Now, guys, it does appear to be cleaned, so take note of that. But it is a 1931 five lati, and there you see here the edge lettering. Starting bid is 35. I'll let you guys take a second to look these up because they are going for quite the premium. We have Spoon taking it to 36 now. 
Dennis says, I don't like lattes. <laughs> I'm good with my coffee first thing in the morning, my Bustelo on Saturday mornings. We have Rafe at 37, Pammy taking it to 40 now. Pammy at 40, looking for 41, 41. Do we have 41? And Spoon coming in at 41 for the 1931 Latvia 5 Latte. Spoon at 41, looking for 42, 42. Do we have 42? Definitely don't see these often, guys. And Spoon may get the deal here. Going on. Going twice now. Spoon at 41. All in. All out. We have a sniper alert. Duck for cover. Scott Jarvie at $42 from the clock tower. We have great Scott at 42 now. Look at that design. Let's take a nice close-up. There's a lot going on in this coin here. Some nice artwork, some nice detail. And we have Spoon firing back at 43. Spoon at 43, looking for 44 now. For the 1931 Latvia. Going on. Going twice now. Spoon at 43. All in. All out. Last call. And we are so to spoon for forty three dollars. Congratulations, spoon. What a great deal on the Latvia 5 Lati. You made a way like a bandit in the wilderness. I don't know what a bandit would be doing in the wilderness, but you made a way like one. Congratulations, Spoon. $43. That is a great price point. And you will receive jackpot entry number 20 into tonight's jackpot. Way to go, Spoon. Spoon getting the deals on the uh, foreign silver tonight. We're going to add this to your wallet, Spoon. And just like that, we are down to the final five items of the night. The dessert menu is upon us, but before we get into the dessert menu... We're going to pull up the random comment picker, and we're going to select three more names to be entered into the jackpot. So here we go. 53 unique comments. And we have Perry Art. Perry Art says, Gold Geiger Gaw. And I missed it. Gold Geiger Gaw. And I missed it. Gold Geiger Gaw. Perry Art will receive one entry into tonight's jackpot. We're going to get that entry for you soon, Perry. But let's refresh and pick another winner. G-Dub. G-Dub will receive one entry into the jackpot. G-Dub 
We'll get your entry shortly. And one more here. Let's grab one more name. Maximus Silver Stacker. All right. So Perry Art, G-Dub, and Maximus will each get one entry into the jackpot for a chance to win the one-ounce Poseidon. So Perry Art will receive entry number 175. G Dub will receive entry number 58. And Maximus will receive entry number 78. Good luck. All right. And now it's time for the dessert menu, guys. So here we go. We're going to start off with item number 21. You may have seen this in my unboxing video from NGC. Item number 21 is an NGC graded MS61 1946 Walking Liberty Half dollar, 90% silver coin. And the starting bid is $40. $40 starting bid for the 1946. We have Rafe coming in at 40, just edging out Sparkle Flare. Sparkle Flare taking it to 41 now. Take a look here. Rafe at 42. And look at the luster. Absolutely gorgeous. The detail on the wings, the breast feathers. We have Rafe at $42 for the 1946 Walker MS61. Going Bonds. Going twice now. Rafe at 42. All in. All out. Last call. And we are so to Rafe Ailman. For $42. Boom. Rafe with the win. Congratulations, Rafe. You can't be mad at that price point. Not one bit. The Walker premiums are also taking flight. To get an MS61 for $42, you cannot be mad at that. Congratulations, Rafe. We're going to get you down here for 42, and you will receive entry number 21 into tonight's jackpot. All right, Rafe, we're going to add that to your wallet. And here it is. And those are your items. And now you have a slabbed walker in your collection. All right. Next up is item number 22. Item number 22 is an NGC graded MS63 1881S Morgan Silver Dollar and the starting bid is $65. $65 for MS63 Morgan. It's not something you see anymore. We used to see them all the time. Now, not so much. <clears throat> Although, on a previous auction, one uh, sold for $60, which was very low. So we did bump it up to 65 
And if anyone wants it at 65, you can start the bid. If not, we could always swap this for a different item. But here we go. This is a 19, uh, excuse me, 1881S Morgan Silver Dollar. Starting bid is 65. And let's count it down. We have Carlos opening the bid up at 65 now. Carlos at 65, looking for 66 now. For lot number 22. And we're going one. Carlos at 65, just edging out Big Apple Stacker. Big Apple coming in at 66 now. Big Apple at 66, looking for 67, just edging out Maximus. Good to see you, brother. Big Apple at 66, looking for 67 for the MS63. And we have Maximus taking it to 68 now. Maximus at 68, looking for 69. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. No, 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 no. And Pammy coming in at 69. Brad taking it to 70. We have Brad at 70, looking for 71, 71. Do we have 71? For the 1881S. MS63 Morgan Silver Dollar. Going on. Uh, Sharp Eye, I do have a scope that I use off camera. I am looking to use an OS in the future to hook up more camera angles going to twice now and maximus with a sniper alert duck for cover maximus from the clock tower at 71 we have maximus at 71 looking for 72 Maximus at 71 for the 1881S Morgan Silver Dollar MS63 graded by NGC. Going on. Going to Rice now. And a sniper alert, Pammy Jones coming in at 72 now. Duck for cover. Pammy at 72. Feeling some suspense in this battle here. Methodical, slow moving, suspenseful vibe here for item number 22. The NGC graded MS63 1881S Morgan Silver Dollar. Pammy at 32. Going on. And Maximus fires back at 73 now. Back and forth they go. Maximus says, Pammy, I thought we were friends. $73 bid. We have Maximus at 73, looking for 74. What's going on? LAP is in the building. Good to see you, LAP. Going on. Going to Weiss now. Maximus at 73. All in, all out, last call, and we 
are so to Maximus. Oh my goodness, Sharp, I tried to snipe it, but Maximus with the win, he did a matrix backflip and avoided the snipe. Let's take a look at the instant replay here. We have going twice and sold to Maximus right before the snipe attempt. I apologize, Sharp Eye, but Maximus with the win at $73. What a great deal. $73, Maximus. We're going to get you down here for item number 22, and you will receive... Entry number 22 for winning lot number 22. So, Maximus, congratulations. We're going to add this to your wallet. Let's take a look here. Pull up Maximus's wallet. Here it is. It is empty, but not for long. Now you have a slabbed Morgan dollar. All right. Next up is item number 23. We have a chunky girl here. This is a BU 2019 five ounce America the beautiful American Memorial Park three nine fine silver coin and the starting bid is a mighty low 180 dollars that is the starting bid we have G dub at 180 and this is beautiful look at that flawless. We have Sharp Eye taking it to 190 now. Sharp Eye at 190, looking for 195 for the five ounce Chunky Boy. These are going for well over 220 online. Could Sharp Eye get it for a deal and a steal? We have G Dub taking it to 195. G Dub at 195. Looking for 200. Sharp Eye says, let it go, guys. Let it go. Let it go. I can't take that song anymore. <laughs> Gigi said me either. <laughs> Especially when I sing it, right, Gigi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have G-Dub at 195 looking for 200. <laughs> and Carlos coming in at 200 now. $200. Carlos in the front seat. We are looking for 205. Got boost is in the building. We have Carlos at 200 looking for 205. Sharp Eye says, let Gigi sing. Gigi, go for it if you like. Oh, here she comes. Will it be? La, 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 la. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is magic. <laughs> we have Carlos at $200. Going once. Going twice now. Carlos at $200 for the five ounce American Memorial Park silver coin. Will it be enough? <laughs> All in. All out last call and we are so to oh my goodness it happened again they're trying to time the snipe perfectly, but they're not doing it. Carlos with the win. Boom! $200 for a 2019 five-ounce American Memorial Park. He stole it. 
Unbelievable, Carlos. What a great deal. Let's take a look at the instant replay here. We are sold to Carlos. If we can get a close-up. There it is. Just edging out G-Dub. I am sorry, G-Dub. But Carlos was able to avoid the snipe attempt and got a win and a great deal. $200. We're going to put you down here for 200 Carlos, you will receive entry number 23 for tonight's jackpot. And we're going to add this chunky five-ouncer to your wallet. Carlos with the win. Unbelievable. All right, guys. Next up. Is item number 24. <laughs> item number 24 is an NGC graded SP70. That is a perfect score, my friends. 2016 W, 1/10 ounce gold Mercury Dime Centennial coin. This is 24 karat gold. And a mintage of 125,000 on planet Earth. The starting bid is a scary low $290. Look at that. Times. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. What do you think, Gigi? <laughs> it's beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. And the starting bid is two ninety. Now the increase in the value of these and what they've been selling for. Upwards of two uh, upwards of three hundred and twenty dollars, and it's a perfect score here. Here is the serial number. Going on. <laughs> Thomas said, if it doesn't sell, can it fall into an upcoming box hunt? Wouldn't that be something? And we have Silver Sacks kicking down the door with a $290 bid. Boom, Silver Sacks. Good to see you, brother. How's your Friday night going so far? Silver Sacks at the opening bid of $290. That'll be uh, that'll be fine, Sharp Eye. We have Silver Sacks at two ninety. Going once, and Sharp Eye taking it to two ninety five now. Sharp Eye at two ninety five, looking for three hundred for the perfect seventy. On a gold centennial Merc dime. What's going on, gold miners in the building? Good to see you, brother. How's everything going? We have Deborah in the house. Sharp eye at 295. Looking for 300. Silver Sacks taking it to 300 now. Silver Sacks at 300. Channeling gold sacks tonight. 300 looking for 305. And you know how I know it's stunning? Because it is flawless, my friends. Silver Sacks at 300. Sharp Eye coming in at 305 now. Back and forth they go. Sharp eye at 305, looking for 310. 
And there you see it. Just one of those coins you can stare at all day long, guys. I've done it. We have Sharp Eye at $305. We are looking for $310. And Silver Sacks firing off a $310 bid. Silver Sacks in the driver's seat at $310. Sharp Eye says, well, these are on AppMix for $450. And you probably can find them for cheaper on eBay, but you're still not going to find it for $310. So still in great deal territory. Silver Sacks at $310. Going on. Going twice now. And we have a sniper alert. Duck for cover. Sharp eye behind the bookcases in the library with a $315 snipe. $315. Looking for $320 now for the perfect $70. 24 karat gold, one tenth ounce Merc dime. Sharp eye at 315. Going on. Going to Weiss now. All in. All out. We have a sniper alert. Duck for cover. Man guy dude coming to the Freaky Friday party. And he's packing some heat. He shoots and he snipes at 320. Man guy at 320. Looking for 325. He came out of left field. Welcome in, man guy. Making his presence felt at 320. 320, looking for 325, 25. Do we have 325? Going on. Going to. Twice now, the suspense, the anticipation. We have Man Guy at $320 for the gold mercury dime. All in, all out, last call. Sharp Eye says, wait, wait, and we are so to man guy dude. For three hundred and twenty dollars, boom, man, guy, dude, with the win at three hundred and twenty, unbelievable. Sharp eye, I tried to stretch it out for you, brother, but I can't delay it any further. Man, guy, you came in at the end with a very sneaky snipe, and you won it at $320. Congratulations, man, guy. And I apologize, Sharp Eye. I try to be fair as possible here. And man, guy, 320 And with that win, you will receive entry number 
24. So, man, guy, dude, pulling off the win here. And, man, guy, we're going to add that to your wallet. We do have an active wallet here for you. Unbelievable. What a battle that was between Sharp Eye, Silver Sacks, and Man Guy coming in. All right. And now, the main event of the evening. Item number 25 is a PCGS graded MS69 2004 half ounce American Gold Eagle. And the starting bid is 10. 50. 10.50 meaning $1,050. Not $10.50, Sean. <laughs> we have Spoon starting it off at 10.50. What's going on, Stacking Silverman's in the building? Good to see you, brother. And let's take a close up at this one here. Beautiful. $25 gold. Half ounce American Gold Eagle. We have Sharp Eye taking it to $10.60 now. Sharp Eye at $10.60 looking for $10.65. We'll go $5 intervals. MS69. Going once. Going twice now. All right, Silver Streak, thank you for joining us tonight. You have a great night and, a, and an awesome holiday weekend. And thank you so much for the well wishes. I really appreciate it. Definitely need well wishes. And we have a sniper alert for Spoon at 1065. Spoon at 1065 looking for 1070 now. Spoon and Sharp Eye going head to head here on item number 25, the PCGS MS69 2004 half ounce. American Gold Eagle. And we have Spoon at 1065 looking for 1070. Boom! Saka Gorbade! Pammy has joined the Saka Gorbade membership on the Saka Plot the channel. Pammy, thank you so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate the support. And if anyone is interested in becoming a member, there is a link at the top of the description of this video. And the support is greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you once again, Pammy. And we have Spoon at 1065. Going twice now. The suspense. The anticipation. Spoon at 10.65. All in. All out. Last call. And... We are 
Soul to Spoon for 1065. Boom, Spoon with the win. $1,065 for a slab 2004 half ounce American gold eagle. Spoon has done it. Spoon has won it. Unbelievable. Congratulations, Spoon. 1065. And believe it or not, that is a great price point. For an MS69 2004 half ouncer. Congratulations, Spoon. You did it, brother. And with that win, you will receive entry number 25. And Spoon says, put that next to the 70. <laughs> Spoon, congratulations, man. How about that? Incredible. And we're going to add that to your wallet here, which is looking very impressive. All right, Spoon. And Mickey Robs Banks is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, brother. So that concludes tonight's World Coin auction. But we're going to recap the bins. We're going to do the random comment picker. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to do a game, game time. We're going to enter a game in chat. First yeah. person to guess correctly will receive an entry into the jackpot for a chance to win the Poseidon. A word that rhymes with gold. A word that rhymes with gold. First person to guess correctly. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Stop, drop, open up shop. Oh, we have a winner. And let's take a look here. A word that rhymes with gold. And there you see it. Mold is the correct answer. Mold. Congratulations to Sean47. Sean47 and TJ and Rafe are very good at the in-game chats. Uh, uh, In-chat games, should I say. And... You will receive entry number 111. So, Sean, you'll get entry number 111. Good luck. All right. Let's see here. Ah, I just lost my chat here on the phone. Let's pull up the chat once again. All right, Big Apple, thank you for joining us tonight. You have a great night and a great weekend, and I hope to see you on the next one. All right. Here we go. Let's see. We're going to do the random comment picker. So if you get to comment on the random comment picker video, it is the previous World Coin Auction from this past Friday. It was the Gold Geiger Gaw. Gold Geiger Gaw. All right, so here we go. We're going to pull up the random comment picker, select three more entries, and then we will recap the bins. Here we go. And this jackpot is wide open. Plenty of different entries from different people tonight. So it's anyone's game. All right, here we go. Let's refresh. 57 unique comments. And JR13, Reese, will receive an entry into the jackpot. Oh, Saka Floppa. We're going to get you your entry shortly, Reese. 
Let's select another name. And man, guy, dude, the big winner of the Mercury Dime Centennial will receive. And yes, man, guy, you do still have an active wallet account. All right. And the last random comment picker selection of the night would have been TJ, but his name was already selected. But TJ, this must be a record. The random comment picker and you have had, you guys have had your issues, but it seems like the random comment picker uh, made up to it, made up for it tonight, selecting you three separate times. Unfortunately, we can only honor one. So we do have to select someone else. And here we go. George Kimmel. All right, George, we're going to get you an entry here. Let's see here. So, Reese, you will receive entry number 102. Good luck. Man Guy will receive entry number 196. And George Kimmel will receive entry number 171. All right. Now we're going to recap the bins for tonight, although I think we might be sold out of them. Uh, let's see. The uh, quarter rounds Incus Indians are sold out. The American Silver Eagles are sold out. However, we still have the circulated barber half dollars. They sold for uh, $30. We rolled the price back to $25. They are in VG condition, so $25, buy it now if you are interested. And that will get you one entry into the jackpot. If not, we are going to pull the barrel and find out who's going to take home the Poseidon. There are five jackpot prizes tonight. All right, absolutely, Carlos. We will ship your wallet out. And your wallet's looking mighty full, especially with that five-ouncer. Uh, John, uh, there are 10 barbers remaining. 10 barbers remaining. All right, Mr. Nilbar, you have a great night. And an even better weekend. Wow, it is pouring over here in New York. Absolutely. Let's pull the barbers here so you guys can see the quality. We have John Scott with a bin two. All right, let's show you guys the quality of these barbers here. And there they are, 1912. They're random date, but they are in VG condition. Show you the reverse. So in good shape. And those are 25 each. So, John, we're going to get you down here for two. So let's get you two entries into the jackpot for a chance to win the Poseidon. 140 and 173. 140 and 173 for John Scott. Good luck. All right. Let's add these into your wallet, John. All right, that's going to be a last call for the Barbers. We're going to add this to John Scott's wallet. Now, John, we did ship out your last pa package, so we can get your uh, wallet restarted if you like. 
All right, Brad's going to grab another one. Brad Burge with a bin one, sounding like DJ Khaled, and another one. All right, Brad, you're going to receive entry number 153. And John says, reload it. Okay, I reload it. We have your wallet up and running. All right, guys. Here we go. It is jackpot time. We're going to find out who the winner is. Let's pull this out. Hey, where'd all my magnets go? Oh, here's here are some. Here's some soccer plot the magnets here. They peel off sometimes. They work better on refrigerators, though. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. The Poseidon. And then we have four separate jackpot prizes courtesy of some great community members. Shout out to Dennis Stewart, Sean47, TJ, and Pammy Jones. Thank you guys so much for your contributions to the Soccer Plot the Jackpot tonight. All right, here we go. We're going to, at the request of you guys, rattle these balls. We're going to shake these balls. Dizzy says, wait, but let's show you guys what's in here. Those are all the entries tonight. Dizzy says, wait. The suspense. And Dizzy says, bin one more barber for the EOS giveaway. Boom, Dizzy. Thank you so much, brother. How cool is that? Dizzy, we're going to turn. Actually, we're going to put the bin separate here since the other one was for Dennis. So two bins, one for Dennis and one for the EOS. How cool is that? Dizzy, thank you so much for that, brother. I really appreciate the support. That is jackpot prize number six. All right, and here we go. This is a 1910 barber for jackpot prize number six tonight. What's going on? Anna's in the building. Thank you for joining us. We are going to find out who takes home. The one ounce Poseidon. TJ says, let's toss another steel. Uh, I'm, assu I'm assuming that's a steel penny. If it was a steel dime, we may want to slab that because that is definitely a killer find. But we're going to get another steel cent courtesy of TJ for the EOS giveaway. Boom, TJ. Thank you so much, brother. Even Brad was like, wait, a steel dime? I want one of those. <laughs> I would love to find a steel dime. You know, sometimes you find these, these coins that are struck on the wrong planchet. So not out of the realm of possibility. All right, let's get one of these steel sense here what's going on floyd is in the house thank you for joining us floyd all right there it is 1943 d one two three four five six seven prizes and thank you tj i really appreciate it and here we go, guys. We're going to find out who's going to take home the Poseidon right this minute. Let's shake the balls.
and the winner is number 107. Number 107 is Clay 37. Boom! Clay with the win. Another Poseidon to the collection for Clay. Congratulations, Clay. The one ounce Poseidon is going right into your wallet. How about that? Clay 37 with the win. And I think since the inception of my channel, I think Clay single-handedly has the most giveaway wins on my channel. And Clay, you keep racking them up, brother. We are going to add this to your wallet. Congratulations. Well deserved. And that was an entry via a bin for the 2019 American Silver Eagle. Actually, no, excuse me. That was for the uh, Incus Indian quarter ounce. He bought three of them. And it was the second entry. So congratulations, Clay. And Clay says, give it to Desi V. Boom! Clay with the generosity. Passing it over to Desi V. Desi V, are you still in the building? That is very thoughtful of you, Clay. We're going to put Desi V. We're going to add this to Desi V's wallet. She has a Batman coin waiting in her wallet. How generous are you guys? This is incredible. All right, guys. Next up is the one ounce copper trade dollar design courtesy of Dennis Stewart. What's going on, Steeler Stackers in the building? <laughs> Number five. Number five is TJ. Boom! TJ with the win. Congratulations, TJ. You have just won the one ounce copper trade dollar design courtesy of Dennis Stewart. Dennis, thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it. And TJ, congrats on the win. Next up is a pair of Rosie Dimes, courtesy of Sean47. Sean, thank you so much, brother. And here we go. And the winner is number 172, Texas Joe. A first-time winner on the Soccer Plot the Channel, Texas Joe, your number has been called. Now, the only question is, are you here? Texas Joe, are you in the building? Texas Joe was here earlier, and that was the only entry and he still was able to pull it out. Texas Joe. Are you here? Texas Joe, if you are here, speak now to claim your prize. Is Texas Joe still in the building? All right, so it doesn't appear that Texas Joe is here. So we're going to count it down. Dennis is doing a countdown. What's going on, Steeler? I'm doing well, brother. Definitely wasn't myself on tonight's stream dealing with some uh, pain management. So I do apologize for the lack of 
energy as compared to what I normally do here. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely something I have to get through. All right. So Dennis has counted it down. Thank you, Dennis, for that. And we are going to pick another one. And another one. Here we go. And the winner is number 186. Number 186 is Rafe Ailman. Boom! Rafe with the win. Congratulations, Rafe. You have just won a pair of rosy dimes courtesy of Sean47. Way to go, Rafe. We're going to add this, add that to your wallet. Congratulations, Rafe and Sean. Thank you once again, brother, for all the support, all the help. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Steeler. I appreciate it, brother. All right. Let's take a look here. Next up is a Steel Scent 1943 D. Uncirculated BU condition. And that is courtesy of TJ. Thank you so much, TJ. Here we go. And the winner is number 25. Number 25 is Spoon with the win. Boom. Spoon. And with item number 25, he actually won the half ounce gold tonight. Congratulations, Spoon. Because with the gold, you get the steel scent courtesy of TJ. All right, Spoon, we're going to add that to your wallet, which is looking pretty hefty right now. Congratulations, Spoon. All right. Next up is the quarter ounce. In Cuse Indian Silver Round, courtesy of Pammy Jones. And Pammy, thank you so much for the donation. We really appreciate it. And let's see who's gonna win. And the winner is. Number 56. Number 56 is. Oh my goodness, it's Spoon again. Boom! Spoon is cleaning house tonight. And that was with an entry for the 2019 American Silver Eagle. Spoon with the win. Back to back wins for Spoon. And Spoon, you get the quarter ounce in Juice Indian, courtesy of Pammy Jones. Pammy, thank you so much for the donation. And congratulations, Spoon, on the back-to-back -back wins there. We have two more prizes remaining. We have a 1910 Barber, half dollar, courtesy of Dizzy. Here we go. And the winner is number 80. Number 80 is Kathy Lee. Boom, Kathy with the win. Congratulations, Kathy Lee. You have just won the 1910 Barber, half dollar, courtesy of Team Dimes, Dizzy. Thank you so much, Dizzy. I really appreciate that, brother. And we're going to add that to your wallet, Kathy Lee. Congratulations on the win. And here's your wallet, Kathy. Here are your items. And we're going to add the barber. All right, Kathy. And last but not least, we have a BU Lincoln Steel Scent 1943D, 
courtesy of TJ. Thank you so much, TJ. Here we go. Last prize of the night. And the winner is number 17. And guess who? He hit the hat trick. It's Spoon for a third time tonight. Boom! Spoon with the win. Unbelievable. Three times. Spoon with the win. Let's see how many entries he had tonight. He definitely racked up the entries. He had one, two, three, four, five. Six, ten entries for Spoon, and three of them came out for the jackpot. So, Spoon, congratulations on the win. You get three wins tonight, which doesn't happen often, but it has happened before. What a night for Spoon. He gets the, the main event prize, the, uh, the main event auction item, the half-ounce American gold eagle unbelievable oh wow well guys i definitely would have looked to uh extend the stream a little longer if i wasn't dealing with some some issues here so i i do apologize once again guys uh but i'm happy that we were able to get through tonight's auction i'm i'm gonna have to probably take an ibuprofen <laughs> to deal with this but I want to thank you all for spending your Friday night with me. I really appreciate it. You know, I wasn't going to miss Freaky Friday, and I love and I enjoy Friday night streams. So thank you guys once again for being here, and uh, you guys have a great night and a great weekend. If you need to get in touch with me, you can reach out to me at NY at gmail.com. Now you have the option to pay uh at your discretion, if I do not receive payment by tomorrow morning, then I will be sending invoices out as I normally do. So invoices out will go out in the morning, and I'll be happy to help you guys with anything here. Thank you once again for all the support, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Good night.